Welcome back, Rich on Eagles. Today is Friday. It is May 28th. So looking at today, we are into our final five countdown. Keep in mind, we don't have school on Monday due to the Memorial Day holiday. So when we come back next week on Tuesday, we just have four more days left of school. Today we are celebrating the letter V for varsity. So I know some of you out there might be wearing some either high school or college type t-shirts out there. Today I am wearing Loyola of Chicago. Loyola is the college that I went to when I graduated from high school. So that is my alma mater. As we move forward into next week, Tuesday, it is Wacky Day. Now, Wacky Day and Field Day are on the same day, so I think we're in for some really good surprises that day. So when you come back to school on Tuesday with our Field Day, remember, we're going to be doing Field Day in the morning for our AM students and certain remote classes. And then we have it in the afternoon for our PM students and then the other remote classes. So our remote classes that are coming, you will stay for that time period of field day and you will be with your teacher and you will be with your class. So we hope to have a lot of fun on that day. Please check class dojo or check in with your teacher remote students if you are unsure of your times for that. With everything going on on field day, we just want to let you know we will not be doing announcements Monday morning. We're going to be super busy getting ready for all that wackiness of Eagle Strong field day. So no announcements Tuesday morning. We'll be back on Wednesday. Okay, looking forward. Um, for our students that are in-person students, you received these letters yesterday and we're mailing them to our remote students. We have the opportunity for over the summer to have access to some Renaissance learning programs for math, which is called Freckle, and my on for some digital reading practice over the summer. This is for every single student in our district. You will have access to using your um, school email address. Your teachers can walk you through that. Even if you haven't done that already, there is still some time. But it's some great programs to continue their learning over the summer. With that in mind, our students that are staying with us and not transferring out and not traveling overseas, you will be keeping your Chromebooks over the summer. I, do you hear that? You have your Chromebooks over the summer. Please keep in mind for your Chromebooks, you do need to be using them appropriately and taking good care of them because they are school district property. So you will have those, and then when you come back to school in the fall, you will bring those with you. So please make sure you are keeping them safe, keep them charged up, and then when you come back, you have them so we can continue our learning here in school, but you can use them to continue this learning over the summer. We want to make sure that you stay fresh and ready and eagle strong to start the next grade. Okay, we do have some shout outs today. We have Doreen who would like to call out Miss Clark for being the best teacher. Taysir, who would like to recognize Mrs. Peel for her kindness. Leah would like to recognize Miss Conroy for being the best, and you are so fun and funny too. And Ali Mahmoud would like us to shout out Miss Conroy as well as Mrs. Mohammed. So thank you for all those wonderful shout outs. We have some birthdays to share. For today's birthdays, we have Ahem in kindergarten, Aliyah in fourth grade, and Yasmin in first grade. On the 30th, we have Shahed in fourth grade, as well as Ferris in kindergarten. And on the 31st, which is Memorial Day, happy birthday to Cameron in second grade. We hope that you have wonderful birthdays. Before I finish my part of the announcements, we do have our Friday raffles for our staff. So we have five staff raffles today. We would like to recognize Mrs. Grasty and Mrs. Brodsky. Three more. We have Mrs. O'Grady and Ms. Dempsey. And last but not least, we have Ms. Crystal. Congratulations to our shop, I'm sorry, to our Friday raffles. Everyone have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Have some fun and relaxation with your family and friends. And we'll see you back here for Wacky Eagle Strong Field Day on Tuesday. Welcome back Eagles and happy Friday. Miss Kiz Merrick back with my pal Eddie. Today you can see we're celebrating Varsity Day. Eddie might have some fun Varsity school themes going on for you later on in the announcements. We are super excited. We cannot wait to see everyone on Tuesday. Remember we rescheduled field day. We are beyond excited to have our remote students coming in and you know Eddie will be making some special appearances on Tuesday as well. And we are still celebrating Wacky Day on Tuesday, so that's your time to shop your wacky hair, clothes, or socks. 
be extra creative on June 1st, Eagles. It's going to be an extra fun and creative day on Tuesday, that's for sure. We have been going through all the logos for the logo drawing contest and scanning those in so we can share them with everyone to make sure that you're able to vote before the school year ends. There are so many amazing entries. I don't know how everyone's going to pick just one to vote for. We can tell you put a ton of work into these logo drawings and we're very impressed with every single one that was submitted. Our original on quote of the day for today is, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. If everyone can now, please join me and Eddie for our moment of reflection. Please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey there, Eagles. Eddie here with some Varsity Day themed school jokes for everyone. What do elves learn in school? Hmm? The alphabet. <laughs> Mrs. Brodsky, this one's for you. Why did the music teacher need a ladder? So she could reach the high notes. Here's one for Miss Lauren. What do librarians take when they go fishing? Hmm, what would you need, Miss Lauren? Of course you'd need your bookworms. Here's for you, Mr. Navis and Perkle. What position does a ghost play in soccer? The ghost plays the ghouly. And last but not least, this joke's for you, Mrs. Dempsey. What does the mama color wheel say to the baby color wheel? Don't take that tone with me. Have a fantastic Friday, Eagles, and always remember our guidelines to success. Everyone is responsible. Always be respectful. Give your best. Look out for each other. Everybody matters. Stay safe. Thank you.